Oh, we gotta come up with a name. I'm bad at naming things. Welcome back to Grown Kids TV with myself, Mike, and Lindsay. This is the video we've been putting out for a while. We wanted to do a giveaway at like the 1333 mark in order to just keep with the three tradition that we had going on. Uh, but we had ordered a lot of these and some of them were through resellers. So we had to wait for them to get it, then them to send it out, yep. and then for us to get it. And by that time, we're at 1500 so we decided, hey, this will be the 1333 slash 1500 subscriber giveaway, and I wonder what we're going to give away. All the things. All right, so all those pops from the intro, that'll be talked about in just a little bit. But keeping on the theme of the Shared for Shared San Diego Comic Con 2020 is today's featured Funko. This is Alien. Dressed as Kevin from Up. Oh. Disney Remix, which is the line that we pre-ordered the first wave. Yep. And then the San Diego Comic Con came. Yep. Where we actually got this. This was in our top two. I wanted Michelangelo the most. Lindsay wanted Kevin dressed, or excuse me, Alien dressed as Kevin. That's the ones we went for in Funko Shop. And neither of us got it. Nope. So... Just a little bit after that, Lindsay went on the box lunch and got Kevin. Yep. And it showed up in great condition. Thank goodness. Oh, I was so happy. So we can't give this one away. No, we can't. But this is one of the top two. After that, we end up going and grabbing Michelangelo from a reseller. Yep. Uh, because it's amazing. We had to get a Comic-Con one. But this is Kevin from Comic-Con and like I was saying, and I totally forgot I was saying it, we ordered the first wave of the Remix Aliens from Entertainment Earth, and we got Kevin before them, and then we've got two so far. Yep. And while we were walking around in the mall, we saw almost the entire second wave on sale at Think Geek or GameStop? Think Geek. At Think Geek. And we're like, um, okay. So we grabbed those, only one yep. set. We let somebody else get the other one. Yeah. We got everybody except for Mrs. Incredible. And the 10-inch Sully. And 10-inch Sully, that's right. So we got all the normal size ones. Yeah. But we still haven't got the majority of the first wave ones. Not yet. Hopefully soon. But yeah. Kevin. So excited about this one. <laughs> this one is one of the cutest. It really is. Yeah, the Disney remix whole thing between the Funkos, the Minis, the keychains. There's too many. Yeah, we're going broke. Lindsay even has. Oh, I got a kitchen set. It's just a little like hand towel and an oven mitt and a little pot holder. But they're they're alien remix. Yeah, so we had to get that box lunch. From box lunch. It made a five dollar off coupon, so yeah. why not? It was it was great. Alright, we figured this video would be a good chance to debut our sticker board. We didn't know what to do. There were so many good options. And we were walking around and we we're like, what if we made a poster yeah. of like Grown Kids TV and then we just put stickers on it? Yeah. But then we said, well, I don't know if a black poster will be that great for a background for stickers because some of the stickers are dark and you might not be able to see them either way. But we wanted a black background for our Grown Kids TV. So we did both. We did this Grown Kids TV with Lindsay and Mike, just like our logo and we made a border around it so this is like a nice you know three-dimensional like regular frame border yeah and we figured this would be really good for all the stickers and it does come with the glass over it we took the glass out so we could put the stickers on and let's go over what stickers we have real quick here's the stickers we've been saving up in no particular order just where we had them uh we're going to take them all out we're going to read them and then we're going to put them on the board real quick and like fast forward style, yeah. and we'll show you the finished product. The somewhat the finished product for now. All right, what do you got, Lindsay? Wire monkey. Nerdy Newt. Bearded barbarian. 
spastic collectibles. Let's start a pop collection. I want this stuff.com. 83 Pop Talk. Smy World. Professor Josh. We're going to pick Reptar from here from Mikey Vintage yep. because he sent us the stickers, this little sticker set, and we sent him Reptar, so that's a good one to pick. Birdo the Noob. We have the Martian Toy Snow Cone that we just have to put on here. New and old Funko Pop unboxing. Yo J collects. And our favorite spastic sticker, the one with Ralphie and the Freddy Funko on it. And the rule for our sticker board is, and this is a loose rule, but we're only gonna put one sticker from each person or group. And then you said, hey, but you said two spastics. So these ones are actually gonna overlap. We're just gonna put the spastic symbol over the spastic symbol pretty much. Yeah. And then when I bought my Elvira t-shirt, it came with a sticker and I'm just gonna peel this off and put it somewhere on there as well. All right. Let's get started. done and what you may notice there's a lot of room for more yep so if you guys really want to send a sticker we are more than happy to accept it we did put out an order for our new stickers so we're not gonna have the lamest stickers anymore but it's probably still not gonna be as cool as some of these yeah but it will be in our eyes because I think it looks cool I think it'll be cool all right but there's a lot of space. Uh, it's up to you guys. Obviously, you know, we're not going to be like, hey, you got to send us stickers. But it, it does mean a lot to us. And we're happy that we can have something that can capture all the different unique styles that everybody has. Yeah. I'm glad that we finally decided to do this and actually came up with the plan. Yeah. And I really, really, really like this Martian snow cone. I, I really do too. We were kind of debating putting them on there because we got it in a mystery box. Yep. But we're like, ah, it's not really somebody's sticker or even like a company sticker that we bought off of. He's so big, But too. it is awesome. Yeah, and we thought it might take up too much room, so we figured putting it in the corner would be the best way to do it. Yeah. I think it came out really good. I agree. Obviously, we're not done yet. Nope. Um, but it's, oh, man, I'm so excited about it. Mm -hmm. And now what we can do is if we do get like a mystery box that has a uh, sticker in it, when we get it, we can take the sticker out, we can plop it down, yep. and then as we get each new sticker, we can show how the board is progressing. Yeah. Very awesome. So thank you so much to everybody that's already put a sticker on here, and I'm pretty sure we didn't forget any, but there's a chance that somebody's sticker. There is a chance, yeah. We did have the Pop King Paul holographic sticker, and we got it in a mystery box with an awesome pop. And then what we did is, this was before we were collecting stickers really, is we put it out at our shipping station with my San Antonio Spurs sticker and a Baby Yoda sticker and a couple other stickers that we just have going. Yeah. Sort of like the same idea as these. These are just a Vineyard Vine sticker, Baby Yoda, a Polo Bear, and then of course little aliens. Yeah, there's three little aliens Three out little here. aliens. They're very cute. But that's what, we, that's what we're doing, is just putting it at our workstation. Yeah. So now we got this, now we have a designated place for Funko Pop mystery boxes and mystery box sellers and YouTubers. Um, this is great. And we got that Smyroll sticker that I haven't seen very often at all. Yeah. I mean, I haven't seen many Smyroll stickers, but that one's awesome. So this is great. This is really awesome. And thanks for bearing with us so that we can get to the giveaway portion. But this means a lot to us. It does. And we still have one more quick little thing to show you. Oh, that's right. To go along with this sticker board, we also got this pin board. This is a little cork board. Pretty thin. Yeah, it's thin. It's really cool. They have it set up so you can hang it on the wall. Yep. Um, I believe it was like $25 or so on the website plus some shipping. Yeah. But we were talking about getting a pin board anyway. Yeah. 
because we're getting a lot of pins. We got those spastic boxes that came with pins. We got some pins from Mikey Vintage. We got a thumper pin from Rob Pops uh, and his wife Stephanie. And so we've been getting a decent amount of pins and we wanted somewhere to put them. And we have an apartment, we don't own our own house, so we couldn't just put it in the wall. <laughs> but I was on the BIM toy website looking at tiny ghosts because this is something that we now love. Yeah, we've been looking at BIM toys, tiny ghosts, and we've been looking at chomps. Yep. But I found this and I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. And it comes with a little pin of himself. A little matching pin. Like, look how cute that is. And Mike got me an early birthday present. Mike got me Alien dressed as Forky. Even more of the Disney remixes making us go broke. Yep. Oh, we gotta come up with a name. I'm bad at naming things. Jay the Ghost. I used to know a Jay that dressed like this. Alright, there's our first two pins in Jay the Ghost. So this one's not too thick, but it is thick enough to make sure that they don't go through it all. Yep. So that's good if you are putting this on the wall and you want to just throw your pins in. Uh, so normal size pins. Oh, I'm so excited. And we have tons of pins everywhere. We're just walking around. We got Dumbo pins, alien pins. We have al three aliens wearing Santa Claus hats. So this is another fun little, you know, collection thing for our pins. Yeah. Pretty exciting. And it's super cute anyway. It is. So now that we've shown you our sticker board and our pin board, now let's get to that opening scene that had all those Funko Pops and what we were going to do with them. So everything you see here is up for giveaway by your guys choice we have 10 things and what we're going to do is we are going to pick nine people uh overall I'll tell you the rules and what they're going to do is first person we pick is going to get first choice then second all the way down and that way ninth person still has a choice of at least two things yeah we didn't want them to just come down and get, you know, the worst thing ever. Hopefully it's not your choice between Hello Kitty and Hello Kitty. And if it is, we'll put something else in there. Yeah. We'll, we'll try to make we'll, it, we'll at least get our choice. Yeah, we'll figure something out. <laughs> figure something else. We don't want you to have no choice at all. Yeah. But there's a possibility it'll come down to Hello Kitty and Hello Kitty. There's, yeah, there is. So next you may be thinking, how do I enter in this giveaway? For that answer, what you're going to do is... Comment below your favorite pop from the 2020 San Diego Comic-Con and write hashtag Grown Kids TV. No spaces, just like it shows right here. And that's how we're gonna search it. Yep. And we're gonna, you know, rule out multiple comments. So no point in putting comment, 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 comment. So just one comment. And at some point in your comment, hashtag Grown Kids TV. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna search that. And it has to be no spaces. We're not gonna search for multiple variations of it. We're just gonna put it into the comment searcher that automatically rules out multiple comments and hashtag grown kids TV. And then it pops up and we're just gonna, that'll be the first person. I'll do it again, second person, third person, fourth person, all the way to nine people. And then we'll contact them in order uh, and we'll give you one day to respond. Uh, I know it's not a lot, but it's one day to respond because there's nine people, so we don't want this to last in six years. Yeah. <laughs> but one day to respond, and then you tell us what you want on Instagram, and then move on to the next person. We'll say, all right, your choice of these things, and then we'll go all the way down until there's choice of two things. But either way, there's some pretty good ones here. And just for your guys' knowledge, everything here is pretty good condition. Uh, no real dings or anything like that, except for one thing, and that's on Sonic. The Hedgehog, aka Super Tails and Super Silver. But on the Sonic the Hedgehog Go Sega 20th, or excuse me, 60th anniversary. Holy cow, Sega 60th anniversary. There is, right here, we'll get a good close up picture of that. Uh, we'll put up here, but there is a little spot here. And the window has, you know, some mild scuffs on it. This one was a pickup in store for us. Yeah. So we ordered it for pickup in store. But that's about it in terms of yeah. any type of problem. They all are the shared exclusives, and that's what leads to the sharing our shares. Yep. That's the theme behind this. Uh, except for obviously Master Universe He-Man is not the shared exclusive. And this box is actually in really good condition too. So if you want to keep this, 
in box. This comes with a t-shirt as well as a glow-in-the-dark He-Man. Yep. And I bought this with Skeletor. We got them together from a reseller we paid really high for them. But whatever, we got them. <laughs> and I wanted Skeletor t-shirt the best. So I got that one and I got my Skeletor pop somewhere around here. Somewhere. Yeah. And so this one, I was just going to like kind of resell to get some of that money back. Uh, but... Figured just throw it in for another option. Yeah, let's throw it in. We we're actually looking around the house and we we're like, oh, you should give this one, give this one, give this way. Uh, and then we're like, no, let's just stick with the 10 things, nine people. Uh, and this is a setup right here. And then when the last thing that we get, you know, we'll probably just give that away to some random person. All right. And because we're big cheapos, we're only going to be shipping to the U.S. unless you want to pay the difference. We'll put $5 U.S. total towards the shipping. Uh, and if you want to pay the difference for where it's going in the world, uh, that's on you. Otherwise, please don't enter uh, because that's the only thing that we can really do is, you know, we'll ship it, we'll pay the $5, the difference is on you guys. So in summary, hashtag Grown Kids TV, no spaces. Tell us which pop you like the most from San Diego Comic Con 2020 uh, and then enter that in the comments below. If you are overseas and you're willing to pay the difference in shipping, then you can feel free to enter as well. Uh, if not, and you just want to comment, just don't add the Grown Kids TV because that's where we're going to be searching for these. Yeah. So pretty decent giveaway. The idea is this one is a, a lot of winners. Nine winners for a giveaway. That's something exciting for us. We, we always like to give back uh, because we're really excited about how much channel's grown and that's only because of you guys. Yeah, Genuinely it is. only because of you guys. Uh, we figured this was a good one. These are still exciting. They're still relatively new. I know a lot of people already got the ones that they wanted, uh, but there were a lot of people like us that got nothing from the actual drop on the Funko Shop. Yeah, so... So this is a good way to get a chance at one that you may or may not have got, especially if you don't want to pay the reseller prices. Yeah. Some of these reseller prices are through the roof. Yeah. We know because we bought this Michelangelo. And we bought that Michelangelo. Yeah. So this video should be dropping Sunday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you guys have up until Wednesday at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to put in your entry. And we are going to pick it shortly after that. So around Friday, probably, we're going to be dropping a video with the winners. We'll contact the winners. And then over the next few days, hopefully not that long, we'll be able to get everybody in which ones they drafted, pretty much just draft, and start sending those out. It's a good way to get the ones that might have slipped through your fingers. Yeah, because who knows? Maybe you didn't get this Star Wars one. I don't know. <laughs> who knows? Maybe you want to give that Star Wars one as a gift to somebody. I don't know. Yeah, just save these till Christmas. Yeah. And just in case you guys can't see, uh, we got the Masters Universe He-Man t-shirt and uh, Funko Combo Glow and Dark. This is a size XL. Uh, I did buy the XL pair for myself. Uh, we got these Super Tails and Super Silver. We got Michelangelo. We got the Sith Jet Trooper Star Wars. We got Captain Marvel, the dark Captain Marvel. I really like the way that one looks. Yeah. We got two of the Hello Kitty robots. We got Iron Bob from Jay and Silent Bob. I love that one. Uh, Pokemon with the uh, flocked Vulpix. And on the far end, we do have, I probably shouldn't be giving this one away. I really like it, but the Mari Chicken is Watch. And these are all the shared exclusives minus the He-Man Masters Universe. So good luck to you guys. We're going to get back to you with all the winners and start that process. Thank you to all these stores that actually let us buy this at the drop. And thank you guys for watching. This is Grown Kids TV. We'll see you Friday.